All right, we're out here on a very nice looking New Mexico morning. We're just a few moments before sunrise. You can just barely see that sun about to pop out of there behind that uh, sign over there. And I'm walking the dog around a little bit, getting him some exercise. He's an old dog. And I thought I'd do a uh, video in the van or some reviews of the van while we're on the road. So we'll let that dog take care of some last minute business here. Take another look at that sunrise about to happen. And what should we do a video on today? Let's do a video on this uh, first aid kit from uh, Amp 3. All right, so we got the little dog set up here. It's freezing this morning, so he's got his blanket on. Got him a little rug so that he doesn't slip around so much, but I don't know if it's helping or not. You stay there. So let's talk about this first aid kit. Um, bought the first van, and it had this cool wall in it, and this fire extinguisher was on the wall, kind of right in the middle. And I like that idea. I liked having a fire extinguisher right by the door. So I moved it over a little bit, and I had this. Um, this is from a... Uh, an automatic defibrillator, a thing that, you know, shocks people, uh, get their heart rhythm back, um, but an automated one. And anyway, I don't have the thing at all, but I did like this case. It's got a piece of plexiglass in here, and uh, I use it for my first aid kit. So I decided to use the AMP3 uh, kit, and you can tell I have some other things kind of in here uh, that are first aid-ish related. Uh, and um, clean up sort of stuff. So let's pull this the roll out. So what we've got left in there are some of the thick uh, nitrite gloves, uh, which I use for working on the van and stuff. Got some paper towels where I keep the uh, gar uh, the shopping bags crammed into the tube for uh, garbage bags. I have a thicker set of gloves which have like uh, those little rubber dots on them. Uh, for maybe changing tires or something and yet another pair of gloves which are like the rubber coated cheap gloves uh, in case I got to touch something hot and those are like from the dollar store so those are a buck a piece basically disposable the box of gloves is also from like Harbor Freight or something so not super expensive uh, it just allows me to keep my hands cleaner if I need to so if I'm doing something else uh, I got some of the cheap uh, other kind of what are these called like towels and then some hand cleaner then a wad of 550 and that's about it. Uh, there's also some razor blades in there from when I was doing some work. I figured I'd keep them in there. But what we're really talking about today is the Amp 3 uh, Outfitter. So this is a, a roll type of kit. Is the sun coming up yet? Keep checking. We're right at sunrise. So soon here the sun will just poke out over that sun, oh, no, horizon. So it's the Outfitter. Uh, when Amp 3 first came out with this one, I grabbed one. And I really like the concept, and I really like the, the format. So it's a tool roll, right, except that it's first aid stuff. So you got your handle, you can carry it around. It's got a piece of Velcro. Now normally the ID would be this way, but I don't know if you saw, when I have it in there, I kind of scribbled off the part where it said automatic defibrillator and just left it say emergency. And it just so happens if I leave this guy on here like this with the Velcro, it shows up right on top. So makes another indication that it's first aid in there. So you open up the Velcro on the handle and that gives you access to it. And you snap these. Now let's talk about the roll first. Made up in Washington here in the United States. So made here in the US, all US materials. So it's a tool roll. It opens up. He had originally, uh, USN ER doc uh, talked about the development of this on his channel. It was originally those plastic type of pockets where you could see what's in there. But, you know, that plastic is all crinkly. It's kind of heavy and, you know, it deteriorates after a while. So this is instead the stuff you'd make like a laundry bag out of or whatever. It's a really strong nylon netting. Uh, it's not as, well, it's, it's a little bit more stretchable actually than the plastic stuff would be. But it's not as stretchable as like a, an elastic net or anything. It's, uh, these don't expand. They're, they're the size they are. And I think there's actually reason for that. If you made them expandable so that you could just keep packing stuff in, you'd never be able to roll it again. So in order to keep it rolled into a thing that the straps will actually work with, then you know you keep the pockets a standard size. So this is the kit, and I've added just a couple of things to it. Uh, the things I've added 
or this uh, towel, I think. I added this towel. This is just like uh, the towel they have at the dentist, usually, underneath all those tools. Uh, I added a Swiss Army knife, a Mora, an orange one. I don't think this is a dull one. Yeah, it's a standard one, just in orange. I do have another one that's like a emergency one that's kind of dull at the tip, but I'll put that one in here. And then a Surefire. It's always a good chance to uh, check it out. So I'll screw the cap back down. And yeah, we still got light. All right, but let's get into the actual, uh-oh. Uh-oh, there's the sun, there it comes. Bam, there's a nice New Mexico sunrise. Right in the middle of the video, thank you. So um, we'll go into some of the stuff. So it's, it's compartmentalized to things you might need. So we've got obviously a sand splint right off the bat for um, immobilizing. Uh, I actually did add this as well. This is his, or the Amp3 uh, IFK, so individual first aid kit. Uh, this is a lot of stuff actually. You can see the list of the stuff right here. And I have this in case, let's say we're going hiking or something and I want just something I can put in my cargo pocket and have a complete first aid kit. Uh, I think US and your doc did a good job with this one. So I have this in one of those front pockets and that is additional. I think that, I'm pretty sure that's additional. Then uh, we'll get back into the concept here of uh, various um, parts, uh, or, you know, portions or segments of the bag for various things. I guess another thing I should mention is you can tie this 550 to here and then hang it. A lot of times they'll do that like clinics and stuff back in uh, when they're doing uh, work in disaster relief or something. Uh, you can hang this in like a tent or a you know, cave or something even. All right, so let's pull this one out. And this is some bandages, so some more uh, immobilization stuff. He's calling it musculoskeletal, muscular cellular, yeah, whatever, musculoskeletal. I can't try to say it. So you got a Sam splint in here, finger splint, I'm guessing. Uh, you've got some triangular bandage and then some ACE. So for things that you need to immobilize. Next, we've got the uh, compact comprehensive uh, to mitigate penetrating chest drama. So this is the chest seal. And I don't remember if this was a separate kit or not, but you got your gloves, duct tape, safety pins, uh, pencil, and whatnot for leaving some information on the person. And it's all in a lock sack. So lock sack is a great bag uh, developed for the seals uh, so that they could take stuff underwater. And uh, that actually is a supplemental, I think. Next up, we've got these hand wipes. They're like basically military hand wipes. Military style hand wipes that can remove grease and grime and stuff. And now we've got another, um, the blood stopper kit. And this one is gloves, bandages, and it doesn't have a thing on the outside. So it looks like it's a tourniquet, a SWAT tourniquet in there, uh, some gloves, and in a lock sack, you've got uh, probably stuff for cleaning wounds. Next, we've got the uh, gauze pads and moleskin and some Xeroform gauze. So this, I guess, would be for your uh, dressing if you've got a wound. Next up is the fabric bandage. So we've got a bunch of band-aids. And next, the uh, rolled gauze, sealed rolled gauze. And there's zigzag gauze, there's rolled gauze. This is in a, uh, uh, what is that, in North American Rescue, in a green packaging. But you've got the clear back, so you can see this is a rolled uh, gauze necessary for stopping bleeding got a miscellaneous wound kit so this is some butterfly tape uh, tagaderm antibiotics alcohol and some benzene so the stuff you might use for a minor uh, a little you know maybe a step above just the band-aids or to clean off before the band-aids got a tra uh, trauma module so you got quick clot a SWAT T four inch dressing and a pad so this is a nice one too it looks like I stole the SWAT out of there probably have it 
Nah, this is a different one, but I like to keep swats on me all the time. Next up is some extra gloves, and these are nitrile gloves in black. Uh, people go back and forth on black, uh, whether or not you can see the blood. If you're doing an um, inspection on somebody and you pull back on a blue glove, like the light blue or a white, you're going to see the blood. On a black, you might not see the, the blood. Uh, but obviously black has its advantages if you're doing something where you need to be less obvious. So in here we've got pencil, a notebook, and some safety information, and some extra Ziploc. So this is kind of little extras for maybe signage and if you've got to uh, keep records or something of, uh, of a situation. You know, there's a lot of stress and having some place that you can, like a pencil and a paper, like some right in the rain paper, uh, a place that you can write some stuff down. Uh, might be useful. In a time of stress, it's easy to forget stuff. Uh, especially little minor things. Especially times and things like that. Alright, so next we have a tape module. So you've got a couple of different types of tape. And I think there was some stuff in here to uh, make this tape uh, stick better. Some like stuff you wipe on. A couple more things of tape. Tape's good for, uh, again, if you got a, a scrape or a burn or something, you got to cover it, and then it's in like an elbow or someplace, and you've got to get down a hill. I've uh, got a couple more gloves, some of those, a small pack of those uh, UHAs, UHAs, the uh, military hand wipes, and some hand sanitizer. So, ways to clean up after. Next up is an emergency survival blanket, so basically a Mylar blanket. The irrigation module for wounds. So if you do need to you have a deep wound and you need to stitch it or something, this is the syringe and it's basically the eye cup. So the thing you would use to um, irrigate an eye, but you can use that for, I think it's for an eye, but anyway you can use it for wounds. And a USNER doc has posted videos on most of these things, so not in replacement for a first aid uh, class, but basically a a way to understand the concept of why he included all these pieces. Uh, next up, let's see, is the drug kit. So it's a bunch of pills in little self-serve or single-serving uh, packages. So that's handy so you don't have to open up a package of 12 or something or just have the blister pack. So you've got your, your typical stuff, ibuprofen, acetaminophen, uh, stuff for, itch, for sleep and allergy, uh, stuff for al uh, acid reflux, and stuff for vomiting. And all those things might seem like just comfort things, but if you're vomiting and you got low water or you're out somewhere, you don't need to be wa uh, vomiting, right? So next up is the tools. So you've got a nice set of tweezers for getting out um, splinters. There's an LED lamp in there, a Fresnel lens, which could be handy. Uh, scissors, forceps, those tweezers, a uh, razor knife, nail clips, things you might need to be clean and uh, precision that, you know, sometimes are just pocket knives and stuff. Oh yeah, we're going to use that for everything. Well, you could use it for everything and you get it all dinked up and dull uh, when you need it for real to be sharp and clean. Uh, it's nice to have them in a kit and this isn't real big. This actually is a lot about the size of um, some large, large multi-tools. Another thing, a hand sanitizer. I think I just do that one in there. And another medication module. This one has a burn gel, uh, stinging pads for if you get bit by an insect, and then some more diarrhea stuff. And that looks like a powder, like an oral that you drink. Uh, then we got some iodine swab sticks, again for cleaning out uh, wounds. And then this last segment is Velcroed. And it's a little larger. I've got a wider roll of tape in there. the emergency care module, which has a CPR mask, gloves, and some meds. So, uh, looks like uh, glucose tabs, handy if someone's got uh, diabetic stuff, aspirin, Benadryl. Uh, this one is eye wash, another cup uh, with the, I guess this is a little bit different cup for irrigating the eyes, and then these are two uh, saline uh, tubes which I'm guessing are clean, right? And then finally, the dental emergency kit, where you've got some oil of clove, uh, a tea bag, some of the tricks to alleviate some of the discomfort from uh, dental stuff, as well as just some toothpicks and things uh, for comfort. 
So that's the kit. You can see it would be a mess if you just did it normally in a normal bag that's more of a suitcase or a briefcase type of situation. You're not going to be able to get to everything. I really liked his roll concept. I think you can get it in different colors. Like I say, he has these made for him uh, in the United States. And all the stuff is sourced from his medical sources. And it looks like one of the things I noticed as I was going through is some of my bags are starting to, uh, they're aged. So they're starting to fall apart. They're still doing the job of keeping things organized in here. But if this was to get wet, they wouldn't be keeping things dry anymore. So I think I might need to uh, get myself a set of this size bags and kind of replace everything into new baggies. Roll everything back up, keep it here. Obviously the point is having it handy if I need it. And if the door's open, anybody can see that it's there and it's useful for all. All right, well that was a little, uh, I guess 15, almost 20 minutes worth of talking about the Amp 3 Outfitter. Can't recommend it enough. Uh, USN ER Doc is a great guy. Uh, shares his knowledge and his interests on the YouTube and uh, now brings some of his uh, uh, expertise to products that are uh, useful and beneficial for all. So that was our first on location, or at least one of our first on location uh, reviews. We now have full sunrise here in New Mexico and we'll leave everybody with that and a little puppy saying thanks for watching.